Hey there, I'm Stuart Gibbs. I'm the author of lots of book series like the Spy School series, the Fun Jungle series, the Moonbase Alpha series, and the Charlie Thorne series, but I'm here today to read to you from my newest series, the Once Upon a Tim series. Now, this, uh, this just became a series because this is the second book. Once you have two books, that makes it a series. Uh, so uh, this is the second book, uh, Following the Amazing Adventures of Tim and his friends Belinda and Ferkel and Grace and his for dog Rover. Yeah, I said for dog. He he was a dog, but then he got turned into a frog by a witch, and so now he's a frog dog. Uh, so uh, uh, Tim lives back in olden times. Uh, he uh, he was a peasant in the first book. He didn't really like being a peasant very much, so uh, he chose to become a knight, and that sent him on a big adventurous quest in in book one. But now in book two, we're ready for some more adventures. Now you don't even have to have read book one to enjoy book two. Uh, I'm, I'm going to prove that to you because I'm going to just start reading right from the beginning of book two. I'm going to read you just a little bit from the beginning of the book, give you a taste of it, uh, Once Upon a Tim and the Labyrinth of Doom. <clears throat> Chapter one is called How I Started My Day. Once upon a time, it wasn't easy to be a knight in training. My name is Tim. I'm a junior member of the Knight Brigade for the great and glorious kingdom of Maryland. I don't really know you, but I'm guessing your normal morning goes something like this. Wake up, go to the bathroom, shower, maybe, get dressed, eat breakfast, go to school. Now, here's what I do on a typical morning. Wake up and face this. That's right, I started my day by squaring off against a dragon. My head instructor, Survival, leader of the brave and honorable Knights of Maryland, believes that a knight must be prepared to defend himself at any moment, even if that moment happens to be very, very early in the morning. So he will occasionally do something to keep me on my toes, like releasing a fire-breathing dragon into my room while I'm asleep. If I defeat the dragon, I pass the test. If the dragon defeats me, well, survival needs to find a new knight to train. Do you know what it's like? To wake up facing a dragon? It stinks. Literally. You probably know that dragons are foul-tempered and are covered with scales and breathe fire, but people rarely talk about the fact that they smell like a dead fish that someone kept in their armpit for a week. Also, it's quite scary. I will admit, the first thing I did upon seeing a dragon staring at me was shriek in fear. But then, I'm only 12 years old. The second thing I did was roll off the pile of hay I was sleeping on in the knight's barracks at the castle. People in my time don't have beds unless they are royals. We sleep on piles of hay if we're lucky enough to find it. And if we're not lucky enough to find hay, we sleep on things like dirt or gravel. Then I grabbed the sword and shield that I have learned to keep by my side at all times, which turned out to be a very wise decision as the dragon released a blast of fire, which I was able to deflect like this. Now dragons can't blast you with flame forever. Eventually they have to stop to recharge. So when this one did, I took my sword and... Oh. I just realized what you're thinking. You're thinking, that's only a baby dragon. The way this kid was narrating, I thought he was fighting a real dragon. That puny little thing doesn't look that dangerous at all. Well, you're wrong. A baby dragon is plenty dangerous. It's not like I was fighting a rabbit here. Baby dragons might be smaller than adult dragons, but they still have bad attitudes, sharp teeth, nasty claws, and the whole breathing fire thing. Make one false move around a baby dragon, and it will fricassee your butt. All right, well, I'm going to leave off right there with Tim facing this dragon. You can find out what happens to him and all sorts of other uh, exciting stuff in Once Upon a Tim book 2. The Labyrinth of Doom. Lots of fun adventures in this book. Uh, I think you're really, really, really going to enjoy it. So um, I'm going to leave now. Go find that book and start reading. Mm -hmm.